and we're back in the yard. So we got a no cool call. Uh, the compressor is definitely not running. Uh, you're going to hear it in a minute. So I don't know if you heard that. Hopefully you did. Um, but that usually means that the compressor is trying to start. It's unable to. And generally that's going to tell you that you have a bad run capacitor. So we're going to go ahead and check that run cap. Uh, but it's probably just the hermetic side that's low because the fan still runs. So uh, usually first thing I do when I walk in, I ask the client, I'm like, what happens when you turn it on? She's like, oh, you know, air comes out, but it's not cold. Okay, so that tells me that the inside unit's running. So I will go in there and I'll check the filter. The filter's clean. Um, and then I'll grab the liquid line, to see if I can feel refrigerant. I didn't feel it. When I walked out here, I heard it make that noise. I knew immediately it was a run cap. So that's a quick, easy way now. Just because it's just a run cap doesn't mean we're not going to check the rest of the unit. So first off, first things first, let's go ahead and check out that run cap and see what's going on. So here we go. So this is supposed to be a 45 on the hermetic side and a 5 on the uh, fan side. So we're checking common to hermetic. We got 2.4, so we definitely got a bad run cap. And if we check our fan side, we can see that it's probably close to 5. It's at 4.5, out of spec, but still enough to run the, fo the fan. So let's see if I have one of these on the truck. I don't think I do, but we'll see. So I don't have a 45.5, but I do have a 40 slash 5 and a 5. So what we're going to do is we're going to combine these two to make it work. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so we're trying to increase the hermetic side from 40 to 45. So we're going to connect one wire to the hermetic, one wire to the common. And then we're going to put one on each side. So now, if we check from here to here, we should be getting about 45. Yep. Now, if we wanted to do this with the fan, all we would do is take off the hermetic and put it on the fan. So this is pretty much how those turbo, um, the turbo capacitors work. Um, but this unit is under warranty, so we're going to do it this way. Because I'm in the boonies and I don't have a 45.5. Now, um, I am going to come back and put in an actual dual. This is just to get them by. Uh, I don't like doing this. I only do this when I'm in a pinch, So, which we are. And like I said, this is going to be temporary. We're going to come back and put in a proper capacitor. All right, so we got it in there. So usually I would use some plumber strap, but I have it zip tied because I know I'm taking it back out. Um, so yeah, so we're going to go ahead and kick this thing on. All right, so we're going to go ahead and check our run amps. So compressor is running about 10 amps. That's our fan motor. 1.09. Total run amps, 11. Well, it seems to be okay. Just going to go ahead and check the, re the uh, refrigerant now. All right, so we're just checking our refrigerant levels. Everything looks good. It's a little bit high, but usually like eight to 12 is okay on these things. Um, so I'm not gonna mess with it and I think it's fine. Uh, amp draw, we already know is normal. Run cap's good. The contactor is a little burnt up, but it still functions. So anyway, uh, we're gonna go ahead and call it. And uh, oh yeah, then we have a 22 degree split inside between supply and return. Anyway, hopefully this helps you out. So it was a short one. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment, tell me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching.